Hi guys, this is Dan at Trojan Art Painting. This uh, video, I'll be uh, unboxing this uh, Malifaux Rail Golem for Arcanist Faction. And I take it all the way through priming. Uh, I think it was kind of expensive for what you get actually. Uh, retail price anyway, of course you can get up to 33% off from what I've seen online, which makes it a little more, the price a little more reasonable. You can see what you get here in the box is uh, two plastic sprues. As well as a stack card and a 40 millimeter round base. Now, there's absolutely no flash. There are some mold lines that you're going to have to deal with. Uh, it's nice high quality plastic. So I'll go ahead and get started. You see there I used a super glue which was dumb. It was sitting there so I just grabbed it without thinking. This this is a plastic model. Should have used a plastic cement. Result was that a lot of the parts on this this figure are, are not keyed. You just kinda kinda eyeball them and slide them into place and line them up by looking at them. And of course using super glue that wasn't very easy to do because it bought it instantly, especially since I was using the the uh, zip kicker so should have done that and using the zip kicker a few times it hardened too quick before I got the uh, the uh, piece in place so you had to, had to scrape it off and then it, probably a couple of spots made the gaps a little larger than they would have otherwise been but still you're going to have to use uh, uh, some gap filler in several places around where the hands attached to the arms the shoulders where the legs attached to the body and around the, the uh, lower leg area as you'll see, I use the uh, Tamiya gray modeling putty for plastic. Also down the bottom, it was I didn't eyeball the uh, those lower legs right the first time. I actually had to cut the left one and, and realign it. So uh, not as easy to put together as some models I've done in the past, but ended up getting it together there.
That's what it looks like a symbol. Stands uh, right at three inches tall. Just a little bit over if you probably three and an eighth inches tall, so. Okay, I didn't put you through having to watch me apply the putty. I just daubed it on pretty, pretty thick around all the areas it was needed. As you can see there, and it's got a, uh, a sanding stick and sanded it down. Give me a quick brush, brush off there, and there's what he looks like all signed up and ready for priming. Uh, you, I'm going to use uh, just a sandable gray primer on him, and I'm going to use this blue tack here to uh, mount him to a little plinth while I'm uh, while I'm priming and, and, and while I'm painting him. Just got to knead the blue tack, of course, there to get it nice and gooey. What I use for the uh, plants is just uh, mentioned on other uh, videos. It's just the uh, wooden candlestick holders from uh, Hobby Lobby with a disc glued on top. So there he is, uh, ready for priming. Stuck down with his blue tag. Give a quick wiggle and make sure he's not going to uh, fall off into the rose bushes while I'm priming him. So here he is, primed. And that's just going to be his first coat of primer. I do a, a priming so I can get a good look, get a, you know, be able to see the, uh, the putty better, and then go and give him a, a second uh, a pass with the sanding stick to fix the places I missed, brush him off, and, uh, and there he is after his uh, second coat of primer. I gotta say, pretty awesome looking pose. The guy leaning forward, you know, got the big. Uh, uh, railroad rail in his hands there and the, you just imagine the smoke belching out of those uh, exhaust pipes and the furnace in his chest there so Pretty cool looking figure I'm looking forward to getting started painting on it. And here he goes, Arr, I look for somebody to, to knock over the head. Arr, arr, arr. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Uh, and I'll be back with a second video shortly.